So sometimes your digital photos will have small abnormalities near some of the high contrasty edges inside the photos and these can sometimes be known as chromatic aberrations. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to fix that. I'm going to show you how to do it if you're not shooting in camera raw. If you're not shooting in raw mode that I'm going to show you a way you can do it right inside of Photoshop. If you are shooting in raw mode well you can just open up the camera raw dialog box here go under the lens tab and the same settings I'm going to show you in Photoshop are in camera raw. So it's mainly if you're shooting JPEG and that's it regular whether you're using a digital SLR shooting JPEG or whether you're using a point and shoot camera. Now before we get to it let's uh, just go take a look here in Photoshop and I'm going to actually go over what these chromatic aberrations are and how you can fix them inside of Photoshop CS2. I'll even show you what they look like. But basically, a, a chromatic aberration is it's a small color shift or color artifacts in an image. And it can be caused by sometimes low quality lenses or just a camera's inability to catch all of the color the right way in all three channels, the RG, the red, the green, and the blue channels. So that happens a lot of times with point and shoot cameras as well. So the good news is I'm going to show you how to find it first of all, and I'll show you how to fix it with a new feature in CS2. So uh, let's zoom in to kind of a high contrast area here in the photo between the white and the yellow background here. See that little color shift that's right along the edge? If I zoom out, you can see what it looks like a little bit easier. Well, that's a chromatic aberration. Now as we scroll over, and uh, here's a, this photo has a picture of my lovely wife Diana in it. And uh, a little note to anybody out there that might ever want to do training videos or anything, you'll definitely not want to ever zoom in on your wife because they just don't like it. So uh, I found that out the hard way in the past. But okay, so take a look at this high contrast area here. It's the white against the black there. If we really zoom in, you can start to see some of that, that red fringe that gets put around that, con that high contrast area. That's a chromatic aberration. Now, to remove it, what we'll do is we'll go under the filter menu, down to distort, and go to lens correction. And in here, what you'll want to do is, first of all, I'll just uncheck show grid. We're not going to use the grid here, and I'm just going to zoom way into the area here. And if you take a look, you can start to get a better idea of what we're going to be fixing here, that, that red fringe. And what we'll do is you can see fix red cyan fringe. So if I move it to the left, well, it gets more red. So I'm going to kind of move it to the right a little bit. And I start to introduce just a little bit of cyan color in there. That's okay. Doesn't looks better. And then here, you can see fix blue, yellow fringe. So if you start to get any of a blue or yellow fringe in there, and sometimes you'll just have one color. So you want to just be careful with these settings. I'm not going to adjust this one too much. That looks pretty good. And maybe I'll take that one up just a little bit. So let's take a look at the preview button. It's just below your screen. You can't see it, but that's before and that's after. So it's a real easy fix and you know if you're looking for the detail in your photographs well that's important and, and this is the detail areas. These are those high contrast areas that give your photo that detail that you're looking for. So when you're done just click OK and let's zoom back out here and let's take a look. I'm going to go to the history palette and I'll show you this is before and this is after. So again before and you can see even at 200%, I'm barely zoomed in, you can see that little red line there, that little red fringe, and, and this is after without it. So uh, as you can see, it really makes a difference. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and we will see you again next time. Thanks.